Hey there, I just finished building this pedal board and I made a video about it. If you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. But before I send this beautiful sounding, looking board back to its owner, I wanted to go over in depth more about the Jet Micro because this thing, it's amazing. It's a pre-programmed MIDI controller that controls the HX Stomp. It really just expands the HX Stomp beyond any other, more than any other device that I've ever come across. And in turn, since it can control the HX Stomp, it can in essence also control the Revelation and the Lamb, all without having to program hardly anything. It's pre-programmed. Now there are, there is some customization which takes this thing to the next level, but it's all super easy. Now I've already done an in-depth explanation, like tutorial on how to use this. I'll link that down below. That's not really what we're gonna do today. I just wanted to show you how I set it up on this the new preset that I built for the customer. And I'll probably put it in the Expanse Pack. If you don't know what the Expanse Pack is, let me tell you, it's an ever-growing collection of presets for the HX Stomp, the Helix, the Pod Go, HX Effects, all of them, ever growing, but you only pay once, once. Pay once, you get updates for life. Anyways, let me give you a quick rundown of the micro. Basically, it's a three foot switch little device here that you have to power and it sends out MIDI. That's all it does. So you have to make sure that your HX Stomp is set to MIDI channel one. You just go to global settings, toggle over to MIDI, make sure the MIDI base channel is on one. If it's set on something else, put it back on one. It only has three switches, but with the combination of different things, you can do a lot. Now, the first thing that's pre-programmed is a short press of A and B or B and C to take you up and down presets like this or back down, or you can hold them to fast scroll, which I think is a really cool feature. The next thing you can do is a long press on A, B and C to call up different snapshots, just like this. Super convenient but you can also do a short press or a double press to either toggle on and off effects or to adjust parameters, which is awesome. And it's not like you have to choose one or the other. You can do multiple things per press option. So right here, I have B and C toggling on and off the delays right here. I can just toggle them back on. But I also, on those foot switches, wanted to like increase the mix. So on B, I can double press and bring up the mix. Same is true for this other delay. Over here at the front of the chain, I have a fuzz that I can toggle on and off, just like that. And I can double press to change multiple parameters at a time. See, it goes from hard to soft clipping. And I talked about all this in the other video, but let me show you how you can like make some changes on the fly. So say I like the tone going from three, six to four, seven, but my level needs to change a little bit. Right here, I go from five, nine down to six, five. Well, let's go over here to controller assign and I'm gonna to go to level and I'm gonna scroll over and I can see my minimum values and my maximum values and then I can learn just like that and double press again. Now, my double press will take me to my new parameters. You can also access tap tempo by holding down all three switches. You can either do the tuner right here or you can do the, the tap tempo. As you can see, it's speeding up and slowing down based on that. Then you can hit the B switch and go right back. If you just hit all three real quick, you can do the looper. If I had a looper block in the HX Stomp, I could show you how to use a looper. Basically, it's like record and overdub, stop and start, and then you can long press B to exit and go back to the red bank. You can also access a global setting that will toggle the presets, sending this PC messages to pull up presets on the Revelation and the Lamb. And since you can adjust snapshots, you can also control command center over here. So I can adjust commands per snapshot to have these things do a lot of things. So really, this one little device can control the whole board if you want it to. It's a really cool piece of gear. So if you are in the market and you want to grab one, click my link down below. I think it'll get you 10% off as well. And it'll help support this channel because I am an affiliate of theirs. But this is not a sponsored video by any means if I didn't say that already. This was just a customer who sent me these pedals. I built it for him, sent it back, and I'm about to give it back to him. I'm kind of sad though because this rig, it sounds so good. If you want to hear how it sounds, go watch the other video. I have like 14 minutes of playing, I think, on that video. So there's plenty of playing. Go listen to it. I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, all the stuff. Okay, bye.